Narrated by Aisha. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Our, Apostles, property should not be inherited, and whatever we leave, is to be spent in charity. Narrated by Malik bin Aus, I went and entered upon Umar, his doorman, Yarfa came saying Uthman, Abdur Rahman, Az Zubair and Sad are asking your permission, to see you. May I admit them? Umar said, Yes. So he admitted them, then he came again and said, May I admit Ali and Abbas? He said, Yes. Abbas said, O, oh, chief of the believers. Judge between me and this man, Ali. Umar said, I beseech you by Allah by whose permission both the heaven and the earth exist, do you know that Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, R, the apostles, property will not be inherited, and whatever we leave, after our death, is to be spent in charity. And by that Allah's messenger peace be upon him meant himself. The group said, no doubt, he said so. Umar then faced Ali and Abbas and said, Do you both know that Allah's messenger peace be upon him said that? They replied, No doubt, he said so. Umar said, So let me talk to you about this matter. Allah favored his apostle with something of this fai, means booty won by the Muslims at war without fighting, which he did not give to anybody else, Allah said, as for the gains Allah has turned over to his messenger from them you did not even spur on any horse or camel for such gains. But Allah gives authority to his messengers over whoever he wills. For Allah is most capable of everything. Surah 59 verse 6, and so that property was only for Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Yet, by Allah, he neither gathered that property for himself nor withheld it from you, but he gave its income to you, and distributed it among you, till there remained the present property out of which the Prophet peace be upon him used to spend the yearly maintenance for his family, and whatever used to remain, he used to spend it where Allah's property is spent, in charity etc. Allah's messenger peace be upon him followed that throughout his life. Now I beseech you by Allah, do you know all that? They said, Yes. Umar then said to Ali and Abbas, I beseech you by Allah, do you know that? Both of them said, Yes. Umar added, And when the Prophet peace be upon him died, Abu Bakr said, I am the successor of Allah's messenger peace be upon him, and took charge of that property, and managed it in the same way as Allah's messenger peace be upon him did. Then I took charge of this property for two years during which I managed it as Allah's messenger peace be upon him and Abu Bakr did. Then you both, Ali and Abbas, came to talk to me, bearing the same claim and presenting the same case. O oh Abbas! You came to me asking for your share from the property of your nephew, and this man, Ali, came to me, asking for the share of his wife from the property of her father. I said, if you both wish, I will give that to you on that condition, that you would follow the way of the Prophet peace be upon him, and Abu Bakr and as I, Umar, have done in managing it. Now both of you seek of me a verdict other than that. Lo! By Allah, by whose permission both the heaven and the earth exist, I will not give any verdict other than that till the hour is established. If you are unable to manage it, then return it to me, and I will be sufficient to manage it on your behalf. Narrated by Abu Huraira Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, Not even a single dinar of my property should be distributed, after my deaths to my inheritors, but whatever I leave excluding the provision for my wives and my servants, should be spent in charity. Narrated by Yurway Aisha said, when Allah's messenger peace be upon him died, his wives intended to send Uthman to Abu Bakr asking him for their share of the inheritance. Then Aisha said to them, Didn't Allah's messenger peace be upon him say, Our, apostles, property is not to be inherited, 
and whatever we leave is to be spent in charity.